I'm here with a different video and in today's video I have a mini PC this one is a Lenovo Think Center mini PC and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace or upgrade your RAM on these models this technique this guide applies for any Lenovo mini PC Think Center so if you have a Think Center they come with a variety of the models and this model is going to be linked in the description the model for this one was off the hand i don't know and the sticker at the bottom is ripped off but this applies for any uh, think center models so that's the same way to open it up the tools that you're going to be needing it's an ifixit tool set a screwdriver set you can grab any brand you want but i'll recommend you guys this one that is one of the best you're going to be using phillips number one so grab Phillips screw head number one and you want to remove the one screw at the back um, back of the PC and is always the screw in the middle so the it could be colored black or a bigger screw or a smaller screw is always the one in the middle so go ahead and remove this screw and next you want to take the top cover and slide it towards the end, front end of the PC so grab it from here or grab it from the side the top portion and then slide it forward just goes if it goes one centimeter just up to where it goes don't force it too much just up to here once you get in this position you just want to grab the top, top portion and just lift it up all right now the RAM is right under the hard drive to remove the hard drive you have to remove two screws one right here and one right there so go ahead and remove these two screws and your model might have a uh, screws in a different position it might be on this side that side so there should be a uh, two screws holding the hard drive in uh, on the in place so once you remove the screws you want to grab the uh, hard drive and slide it towards the heat sink and this there you see this clef just getting loose now you can go ahead and lift up the hard drive and put it to one side now the ram is right underneath these are a ddr3 or in some case they come with a ddr4 ram this model comes with a ddr3 ram to remove the ram you want to pull these two triggers beside the ram apart so grab them and pull them apart and the ram will pop out in 45 degree angle now you don't want to yank it upward otherwise you're going to break it you want to pull it out in the same direction that it came out and so it popped in 45 degree angle then you want to remove it in a 45 degree angle so this one is a pc3 so it's a ddr3 ram you want to remove the other one same thing pull these two triggers beside it apart and the ram should come out in 45 degree angle and pull it out in 45 degree angle so 2 gig and 2 gig you can upgrade it to 4 and 4 to have 8 gig or go to 16 gig with 8 and 8 so to put it back in make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch on the dim push it all the way back down in 45 degree angle and towards the motherboard and you should hear two clicks same thing here if the notch doesn't match it will not go through so if i put it that way around it will not go through so make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM, 45 degree angle, inward and towards the motherboard and that's it. Now the last part will be grab the hard drive, place it on top in an offset position, put the hard drive to side and slide it back towards the, to the right position. And the last thing would be to grab the two screws that you removed and place it right on top and the last thing would be grab the top cover grab the top cover and put it in the same offset position that you removed right there and then slide it backward toward the back end of the pc i hope you like this video and it helped you guys out and if it did click please click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe it really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests and again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.